Flattening the curve is really important. It's going to be how we will be able to cope with this pandemic. What it means is that instead of the rate of rise being very rapid, anywhere between a doubling every three to six days, we cut it back into a doubling maybe every two to three weeks. And instead of the number of cases rising so rapidly, the healthcare system can't cope. Instead of that, we keep it at a level where the hospitalization and intensive care admissions are able to be coped with by medical personnel. Social distancing, uh, all the measures that have been put in place to keep people apart from each other, reducing large gatherings, having people uh, respect each other but not shaking hands, all the things that we've learnt in the last week or two are being applied better and better by people. The streets are quieter, uh, the weather's better, but what it means is that we will dramatically reduce transmission. They recognise the problem too late. If you've got a doubling every three days, as they might have had, you can go from 1,000 to 4,000 by the end of a week. And by the end of a second week, you can go from 4,000 to 16,000. Now, the difference between 1,000 and 16,000 is only potentially two weeks. What they've done is the usual very well, the case finding, the contact tracing, isolation, quarantine, all of those have been done very well, but they've also done enhanced testing so that anyone with a symptom and a possible contact has been tested, but by testing and acting on the results of the test, they've quickly got a rather big uh, epidemic under control. I can't be sure. This is a new virus. We just haven't experienced anything like it before. Infectious diseases come and they go. Just as night follows day, we will get on top of this. It'll take some time, but Australia will together cope with this problem. The Australian Academy of Science. Because questions need answers.